When we speak about Indian superfoods, what comes to our mind is ghee, coconut, turmeric and amla, which no doubt are some of our best superfoods. But in today's video, I am going to tell you about some Indian foods that you might not actually know are superfoods. Let's look at the unsung heroes of our Indian diet today. By definition, a superfood is something that offers us not one or two, but multiple health benefits because of an exceptional nutritional profile. But an important characteristic of a superfood is that it should be something that is local to where we live, should be pocket friendly and should have a time tested value to it. So by that definition, foods like kiwis, avocados and kale might be superfoods in places where they are produced. They are not produced locally in India and hence they do not tick the box of being super foods for us. Today I am going to tell you about 5 Indian superfoods that you might not know existed. I will not be surprised if these emerge as superfoods in other countries in a few years time. Let's start with number 5. The fifth superfood on my list is drumstick. Drumstick tree is known to us Indians since a really long time. What we are most familiar with are the long pods of drumstick that are added to curries and sambar and cooked until soft. These drumstick pods and the seeds inside are rich sources of vitamin C and B vitamins. In fact, there is experimental evidence that the seeds retain their vitamins even after cooking. The leaves of drumstick tree, famously known as moringa leaves, are a powerhouse of nutrients. They are cooked like any other leafy vegetable in some parts of South India. Moringa leaves are used in several feeding programs across India to fight malnutrition in children and in adults. In Ayurveda, there is mention of use of moringa leaves, flowers and roots as therapeutics with amazing healing properties. The powder extracted from leaves of moringa are already becoming a rage in the West and it is time that we Indians bring back home this amazing superfood that is so native to us. The fourth superfood is sabudana or sago pearls. Sabudana is made from tapioca and tapioca is the starch extracted from the roots of a plant called cassava. There are three things that make sabudana a superfood. The starch in sabudana is not just any starch, it's called resistant starch. Now resistant starches do not really get digested in our small intestine. They reach the large intestine where they ferment and act as a food for the microbes in our gut. In other words, the starch in sabudana acts as a prebiotic for our body. Sabudana has zinc, which is an essential element for the good functioning of our immune system and also it is required for good hair. Sabudana is a high energy food. So if you are someone who feels fatigued or lethargic during the day, you must make sabudana a part of your breakfast or your lunch. This is also probably the reason why sabudana is eaten during Indian fasts. Sabudana can be made into a savoury breakfast item like khichdi or into a dessert item like sabudana kheer. The third Indian superfood on my list is yam. Yam is basically a tuber that grows under the soil. Don't confuse yam with sweet potatoes, they are not the same thing. There are 600 different varieties of yam reported across the globe. This in the picture here is native to India known as elephant's foot yam or jimikanth. There is evidence of use of yam in Indian diets since ancient times. If you eat this superfood regularly, you will suffer from less digestive problems. It boosts metabolism in the body and therefore it is great for weight loss. Last but not the least, yams have shown to maintain and promote a good hormonal balance in our body. Yams are quite underrated at the moment and it's only a matter of time before people wake up to the benefits of this amazing superfood. I would recommend you to include yams in your diet at least once a week. You can boil them, stir fry them or even roast them. On number 2, we have sattu or roasted gram flour. Sattu has stood the test of time from being called the poor man's protein to now gaining popularity among masses. Sattu has about 20% of protein and it is also a good source of iron and calcium. Sattu has a good amount of fiber and it is recommended for people with digestive problems. It is also a high energy food. There are two popular ways of making sattu a part of your diet. Sattu when mixed with water becomes an excellent cooling drink which prevents people from summer strokes. The famous Bihari Littis made out of Sattu or Sattu Parathas are an excellent winter food that keep the body warm. The number one superfood on my list today is the mighty yet humble jackfruit. 
Jackfruit originated in India and it is as indigenous as it gets. There is a long history of usage of jackfruits in our country, just like yams. I'll probably have to make another video to list all the benefits and uses of jackfruit, but I'll mention the key ones here. The flesh of jackfruit has almost every vitamin and mineral that is essential for our body, the most noteworthy being vitamin C and vitamin A. It is great for people with blood pressure. Scientific studies have reported so many antioxidants in jackfruit and it is easily said to be one of the best anti-aging foods that you can have. The raw form of jackfruit, often called as mock meat, is usually cooked and made into curries or biryanis, while the ripe form of jackfruit is more yellow in color and sweeter in taste and it is eaten as it is. The seeds of jackfruits are little wonders in themselves. They have protein and riboflavin which are recommended for good skin health. Seeds of jackfruit are also recommended for people with weak bones as it helps in building bone mineral density and prevent osteoporosis. The dried seeds of jackfruit are sometimes eaten as it is or made into curries. All I can say is definitely, definitely make jackfruit a more integral part of your diet. These five superfoods are sure to bring you good health and you should definitely make them a part of your diet more often. I try to include these superfoods in my diet at least once a week. If you like the kind of videos that I make, do not forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button and tap on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.